Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are, what part of the world you are in, I hope that you are having a good day. I am burning some Nag Champa and some sweet grass. It's the hem friend. H E M. Oh, that's in Arabic, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Hem Champa. Okay. So, let's cleanse our cars and let's pack. Let's read the energy. The NRG. The NRG. And see what energy we need to know. Um, most of the time I have a story. There's like a story, but yesterday it was just like messages. So let's see what comes out today. Wow, that's an interesting card to start out with. The um, Seven of Wands in the reverse. Four, five, six, seven. Somebody could be giving up or admitting that they, the things just, just didn't work out the way that they thought they would. Um, and this card is Leo, so this person could be Leo. Planet is Mars, which is how you work, if I'm not mistaken. So this could have something to do with the way you work. I always get Mars and Mercury mixed up. One is the way you think, and the other is the way you work. And I think Mars... No, Mercury is the way you think. Yeah, Mars is the way you work. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Then we have it followed by the world's card, which is interesting. The world is Capricorn. Um, energy and the planet of Saturn. Saturn deals with karma. And right now we're in Mercury retrograde. Um, the world is also root chakra energy. Uh, Maybe somebody needs to do some inner child healing. Maybe somebody needs to figure out who they are or say some I am affirmations so you can change your subconscious mind. Um, but this is some success coming, achievement, accomplishment, travel, completion. In, t in the tarot, the world card is completion because it is the last card in the tarot deck. And then it starts over again with the fool. This is fulfillment, a sense of belonging, wholeness. So someone's elevating to a higher state of consciousness, I feel. I feel like maybe somebody has healed their root chakra. Maybe somebody healed their root chakra by saying, I am affirmations or, um, you know, elevating in another way. So this is great. This is great, great, great grounding. So Capricorn Earth energy is grounding. Whereas the Leo energy, of course, is fire. Um, maybe somebody got some closure recently on an issue or something that they were dealing with. 
Wow, and this wanted to pop out Ace of Swords confirmation. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe um maybe somebody took a pause again to elevate to their higher self. Um before they begin a new cycle, maybe someone's leaving something behind. Somebody could have been just doing something that they didn't have any business doing. And now they're leaving that behind. Um, somebody didn't have boundaries. And maybe now they do. Someone's plans may have failed or they're just giving up on something that hasn't been working. Or that didn't work. So in the upright is standing your ground, but in the reverse it's kind of backing down. Or um, you know, letting it go to heal, to have the world. This is interesting. Somebody could have felt like they were in competition. And it, you know, it caused some tension, but yeah, I definitely feel like somebody's letting go of a certain situation. Um, four cups at the bottom. Somebody may have been stubborn about something, didn't want to let it go. But again, once they let it go, now they have the world. And clarity, truth and clarity, new ideas are popping up, new plans, um, Somebody's very intellectual and using those intellectual abilities to experience victory and success, mental clarity, clear thinking, breakthroughs are coming, the ability to concentrate better, communicate better, you know, realize and recognize the truth, have a clear vision, be a force to be reckoned with, and and have focus. This could be uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Because it's the Swords energy. This is great energy. <laughs> Somebody could have had surgery, but that's not what I'm really picking up. Again, I'm just picking up mental clarity and truth. Um, this is the crown chakra. So again, I feel like somebody's elevating to their higher self, their divine self. Somebody has total knowledge, a knowledge of self. Um, you know, great communication, you know, higher level consciousness, f fulfillment, spirituality. Somebody's got it. <laughs> what else does the collective need to know? Somebody was in their head and feeling anxious or somebody is in their head about this person who has elevated to their higher self. It has um, provoked their fears and anxieties. Um, this person maybe can't sleep at night. This could be a Gemini or someone with Gemini in their birth chart. Um, this is more Mars energy. Um, double check if this is how a person works or how a person thinks. I'm pretty sure it's how a person works. Because Mercury is more with communication. And so that would be more about how a person thinks. But I could have them backwards. Because I have a tendency to switch them around sometimes but this is solar plexus in energy um, so somebody is or was doing something and it didn't serve a good pur purpose and if you have a yes or no question the answer is no somebody is depressed stressed bur feels burdened overwhelmed feel like they're at their breaking point they can't cope 
they feel guilty and regret and remorseful. Yeah, somebody was doing something and now they see you having victory and success and, you know, truth and clarity and they're like stressing out about it. But they decided to give up. And then we have the three of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's learning something new, studying, growing, um, putting in hard work, and it's finally going to start pay off, paying off. This is a commitment. Somebody coming in for a commitment or somebody already being in a solid commitment. And that may be another reason why this uh, nine of swords person is feeling anxious and sad and depressed because they decided to be deceptive and now they see this person winning and they were trying to prevent that from happening by it's funny because i just finished doing a video about people being deceptive in terms of trying to get somebody in a relationship knowing they're already in a relationship i'm kind of feeling like this might have something to do with that like again somebody approached someone knowing they were already in the situation they may have lied about it and been deceptive, may have even started a relationship with the second person when the person found out that there was someone else in the picture and that person did not want to be, um, you know, anybody's side piece. So they decided to end the relationship. And this person didn't understand why because they thought that something about them was going to make somebody deal with their foolishness and not, you know, acknowledge the fact that they were deceptive and dishonest. And that nobody has to deal with you if you're being deceptive and dishonest. This could have something to do with work. It could be some type of office politics, a lack of teamwork, you know, somebody just doing the bare minimum, you know, that, you know, I'm just going to earn my paycheck and go home and I'm not doing nothing else and I'm going to slack off as much as I possibly can. Um, instead of working together as a team to get the work done together so that everybody can kind of chill, you know. But some people don't see it that way. What else does the collective need to know? You're the magician. <laughs> you have everything you need. The um, infinity sign is a sideways eight, which is wealth and power. And the number one is leadership. Right? You have everything you need. The cup, the wand, the sword, and the wand. Um, the roses or the flowers and the green represent abundance and prosperity as well. If you have no yes or no question, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. This is throat chakra energy, so say what's on your mind. Say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. Um, and be honest. Just have the confidence. You know, I guess that some people, and by the way, this is Mercury, right? Mercury is all about communication. And again, this is the throat chakra energy. So some people just don't have the confidence to say what they need to say and be honest for some reason in their mind they've convinced themselves that they have to lie in order to get what they want because they're not going to be accepted then that somebody is not going to think they're good enough or worthy or deserving but they don't even give it a chance they don't even give it a chance maybe this goes both ways you may have 10 people who all said yes, and then number 11 says no. It could be disappointing. I get it. But the opposite could also be true. Where you have 10 people who say no, and then 11 person says yes. But you don't know if you don't give anybody, the person, a chance by being deceptive. Now, not only were you deceptive, now you they see you as having a lack of integrity in certain situations depending on the person 
Not that they're necessarily judging you, but if you would lie about something that small, what else are you going to lie about? And this is how some people see it. But, but you know, of course, some people don't see it that way. But this is someone who's focused on their creativity and can, you know, turn their dreams into a reality. You know, this is someone who has power, you know, who, who can manifest, take action, is skilled. This is a magician, you know, someone who puts in the work, someone who's um, maybe self-employed. This could be a smooth talker, you know, if that applies to you. You have the gift of gab, so, you know. Let's say the person does real estate, they could sell out the heck out of a million dollar home, right? Or whatever it is that they're selling. This person has willpower, self-control. They know how to direct their will to manifest in the righteous way and not necessarily, you know, in a manipulative way, which is unrighteous. Um, they have creative visualizations. And again, they're manifesting their dreams and desires. This is a call to action potentially for someone. What are you doing and how are you doing it? How are you showing up? This could be a new beginning. Again, one's, one's the start. Why is the, nine, oh, the seven of wands here in reverse? Please tell us why the seven of wands is out here in reverse. The king of pentacles, yeah, they, you, this person was a king of pentacles. Um, a lot of times when that seven of wands comes up in the upright, I think of it as multiple people. But in this situation, I do feel like it's one person. It could have been multiple people, but I feel like specifically this could be something, have something to do with a relationship. And somebody who was, again, trying to scheme you, you know, into doing what they wanted you to do. Um, somebody who's not grounded and, 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 you know, King of Pentacles is usually male. Um, someone who's unsuccessful or this manipulation turned out unsuccessfully. This person could be a businessman, but a corrupt businessman who practices extortion and manipulation and, and lies and, you know, all manner of corruption. And this was never like a true relationship um four wands in the reverse is you know arguments I, you know even if you didn't argue with this person maybe to that person it felt like an argument this could have been an aries um doesn't have to be could be somebody with aries in their chart but this is also the symbol of Venus. So yeah, again, there was no love. There was no commitment. This person just wanted to have fun. And they thought by lying to you, they would be able to keep just having fun. And it backfired on them. Why is the four wands out here in the reverse? Even the three of pentacles is saying there was never going to be a commitment there. Yeah, this person showed up as the king of cups, emotionally immature, and again, another male. So I feel like I may be talking, you may be the divine feminine, and this could have been the masculine. Um, but of course, it's just energy, so it could have been, you know, the other way around too. But somebody was overly emotional. Again, they got mad because you rejected them, but they are, they are not taking into consideration that they may have... They were deceptive to begin with. And they just thought you were going to deal with it, you know, because that's what the other 10 women did or the other 10 men did. And they didn't realize that you were different. And it's made this person feel overwhelmed and anxious. Because, again, they didn't expect it to go that way. They're probably somebody who's used to getting what they want, especially from the opposite sex or the same sex, whatever it is. Um, two of Pentacles, uh, sorry, two of Wands in reverse. This person is afraid to change. They 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 don't make good decisions. They're indecisive. They're non-committal. 
even though they may already be in a relationship, again, obviously they're not committed to that person or they wouldn't be pursuing another relationship. And we're not talking about, again, plural relationships where there's, you know, consent and people agree that they are going to proceed in this way. No, we're talking about someone who's being deceptive. This person may feel like they don't have a lot of options. And so they thought you were going to be one of their options. And, you know, and you was like, no, I'm good. They're, they're, whatever plan they had, they didn't share with you and it fell apart. Again, this person would have been better off being honest with you from the beginning instead of trying to lie and be deceptive because they never know. You might have said, okay. Um, this could also be somebody who's having travel problems um, or someone who just thinks small. Again, this is small thinking when you can't be confident enough to be yourself and say what you want and, you know, and communicate effectively. Why? Oh. Wow. That's the Ace of Wands. But yeah, this person came to you as a Knight of Cups. You know. And this is heart chakra energy, but you know, Knights are immature. They had some type of romantic proposal, but I'm thinking it was just all about sex. They may have offered you, you know, something bogus in a cup. You can't even see what's in a cup. <laughs> So with some small, insignificant offer, and not to downplay what they may have offered you, but again, I feel like they were, you know, just offering you some some sex. Um, they may have invited you out, taking you out, you know, taking action towards you as if they were really serious and telling you that they were following your heart, following their heart, or being chivalrous and being a gentleman. Um, try to sweep you off your feet and charm you and this person is you know could be very attractive and y'all went out on dates and they were affectionate and warm and kind and caring and but it was all a bunch of bull again just so that this person can get what they want and then mistreat you once they felt like they got you where they wanted you to be the hangman this person needs to look at it in a different perspective and not just you know, thinking about themselves. This is third eye chakra energy as well. Somebody feels trapped, um, self-limiting, uncertain. You know, this person, again, this made this person feel insecure and anxious because it didn't work out the way that they wanna, wanted it to. They have a lack of direction. Um, somebody needs to release or heal from some inner child wounds, I feel like. Um, and again, this may be coming out because we're still in Mercury retrograde. Yeah, somebody doesn't have clear direction or perspective. And they need to look at things from a different perspective. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is not in their favor. You know, this may have caused some karma or some bad luck in their life. They have a lack of control. Um, they didn't want this change to happen. It could have disrupted their plans, set them back. Because, again, they could have gotten karma from, you know, being deceptive. Which people don't think that, you know, the things that they do, sometimes it comes right back to them. This person has no balance. They're just self-indulgent, living in excess. Lack of perspective again. Reckless. Probably not only just wanting to sleep with you, but sleep with you unprotected. And not caring about you or their other partner. Or partners. Why did the three of pentacles, because I'm done with that. <laughs> I'm done with that pile. Mm -mm. Why did the three of pentacles come out here in the reverse? Mm. 
this turned out to have a peaceful resolution. Um, this could be an Aquarius. Again, this is Mercury. Uh, no, that's not Mercury. That's Venus again. Although there was really no true love, again, it could still turn out peaceful. But Aquarius, too, can have sex with somebody without emotionally attaching, both the men and the women. And so, again, maybe this person was surprised that, you know, maybe this was the Aquarius that they were dealing with, that this, this Aquarius, you may have had sex with this person and they may have been surprised that you didn't get emotionally attached and you were just able to walk away because they didn't understand who you are because they didn't really try to get to know who you are. They just assumed because, again, it worked for 10 other women that it would work on you too. Um... This could also represent somebody being willing to compromise and communicate and end some type of conflict and move on. Again, a peaceful resolution. Uh, and again, that's more third eye chakra energy. So somebody's using their voice, you know. And somebody could be using their voice to inspire others. Yeah, somebody was being juggled. <laughs> no balance. Lack of organization. Poor financial decisions. Again, probably spending all them spending their money on you. Taking you out on dates to be deceptive, thinking it would turn out the way that they wanted it to. And then, you know, again it backfired in their face. So now they're mad that they spent, you know, money when really they shouldn't have went about it that way anyway yep this person was a nine of knight of wands and wands especially in the reverse that's all about sex for the most part if somebody was arrogant this person was all in their ego again being reckless um hyperactive or sex um hypersexual i like to say you know a daredevil or a risk take taker overly confident loud a show-off Probably telling people about it and everything. Oh, yeah, I got so-and-so and such and such. And then once you walked away, they probably told all kind of lies because they didn't want to make it seem like it was them. Man, listen. <laughs> what else? What else does the collective need to know? in the reverse yeah somebody's sad because they had unrealistic expectations and they were living all in their ego you know they were being conceited and now they feel oppressed somebody could have had a miscarriage or a stillbirth but I'm really not feeling like that's you know what's going on here I'm feeling like somebody was all in their ego and now they upset with you but really they should just be upset with themselves because what's in the dark always comes to the light and vice versa. This, you know, something came, truth came out about something. And like I said, I feel like it's because this person just wanted sex and that they weren't ever going to commit. Because they already had a commitment <laughs> that they didn't plan to leave ever. This is somebody who could just be negative, feeling burnt out. Um, delayed satisfaction or gratification and somebody's temporarily depressed again the nine of swords out here all right what else um, um how can we close out this reading what message does the collective need to know to close out this reading Oh, look at here. The Page of Wands popped out. I didn't realize it had flipped over. Yeah, this person may have felt like you were gullible. Um, and they were being impatient. Somebody who, this is somebody who maybe doesn't have a lot of energy. Maybe they feel e drained because of, you know, again, the deception. They may have gotten sick because of all of this. Again, I feel like this person needs to heal their root chakra. What else? 
you know, and pages are also, is also represent somebody who's immature. So this person was just immature and made a silly decision. And again, they're probably mad at you when they really should be mad at themselves and, you know, figure out how they can heal so that they can, you know, do better next time. This, this situation left this person confused and feeling like there was a conflict, even if y'all didn't actually have an argument. How do we close this reading out, please? <laughs> uh, yep. Um, this person had a lot of choices. And they made the wrong choice. You know, they may have, at a certain point, they may have felt like they didn't have other choices, but they did have other choices. Because like I said, some people are okay with it. And so I think it's better to pursue somebody that's okay with it or at least be honest up front because you never know who might say yes. You know, again, this person had lots of options. Lots of opportunities that they could pick and choose from. This could be somebody who procrastinates. Who's living in a fantasy world. It was all an illusion. Or they wanted a fantasy with you. And it was wishful thinking. They probably didn't even think they could get you. Maybe somebody hallucinates. Maybe they do mushrooms or smoke a bunch of weed or whatever. Uh, you know, this dream didn't come true. Because they picked the wrong cup. You know, with the, the seven of cups. There's all there's some good stuff in those cups and there's some duds. In the reverse, it could represent somebody who made a poor choice and that's now dealing with the reality of the situation. Or that feels like they have a lack of choices, or they could actually have a lack of choices. Or maybe they realize they don't have a lot of choices since, you know, because you're the best choice. Okay, I don't want to pull anymore. <laughs> I, I want to get out of this energy. Let's get one final. Okay, what's this? Yeah, two of swords. Somebody was indecisive. They caused delays, but they're now seeing the truth because their lies have been exposed. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Um, at the bottom of the deck is the page of swords. This person may be being defensive. Oh, and look, four cups again. Um, this person again could be defensive because they were a player. And they didn't plan or think that out well. And, you know, again, they were disappointed by what you, your lack of wanting to be with this person. And they're now in regret. They feel like they missed an opportunity with you. They feel stuck and stagnant. They're refusing other offers. See this sitting there with the arms crossed and being offered this cup. And it's like, nope, I don't want that. <laughs> like now of the other cups out of those seven, none of those cups are good enough anymore. Right? After all is said and done. This could be a cancer. Could be somebody with cancer in their chart. This person's focus focusing on the, the negative though. This is a disillusion. Somebody was is or was self-absorbed and now they're depressed. Bored with the options that they have. Feeling nostalgia from, you know, the time they spent with you and being remorseful. All right, I'm done. I hope this was helpful. Love y'all. Later. Mwah.